Mike Nort. Read him in the Daily Herald. You can hear him with Steve Cochran every Friday afternoon at 5.50. And you can watch his daily 30s and 5 video commentaries at 560theanswer.com. His visit with us today is made possible by the Village of Rosemont and Home Comfort Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Electric. Good morning, Mike. How are you? Good morning, uh, yeah, Amy, and good morning, my friends. Everything good? Yes, we're doing good, but how is uh, Brian Erlacher doing, and what is his future as a Chicago Bear? Well, you know what? They're, they're trying to get a deal for maybe one year. I think he'd like to finish out his career uh, with the Chicago Bears. Uh, the people who are reminiscent and, and Bear fans who really uh, uh, want to see their team get better uh, are up in the air. I mean, who's your replacement? Nick Roach? Uh, can you bring back Erlacher for a year? He's not asking uh, for as much money as he had in his last contract. Uh, it's up in the air. I think think he's got to take a physical. I think he's got to show what he can do. But, I mean, if he proves that he's got some sort of ability left and it's better than the guy that they are going to have replace him, then you know what? I'm not against him signing that one-year deal and and we'll see what happens. I, I, I would hate to see him go to the Ravens or some other team if he's cut loose. I just think that if you got one more year left in, in him and it's going to be a decision made by the Bears uh, and by Brian Urlacher and hopefully they can negotiate something, why not? Is his agent asking for more money? No, I, I think they they understand the situation. Uh, uh, reportedly, five million a year. Okay, but a lot of it with incentives, Amy. Where it's gonna, you know, if he makes a certain amount of tackles, if he plays every game, if the Bears finish in the playoffs. So you know, you you give them base pay that is lower, uh, a little bit lower, and then you build in all these inducements, and then uh, hopefully he can get to where he wants to get. And if he does, that means he had a great year, and the Bears did too. But that also then would keep you from going out and get somebody else, you know, to replace him. And mm-hmm. it's sort of a gamble based on how many games he's played over the last couple. of Yeah, years. I mean, I mean, here's the deal: if you can't, if you can't depend on your middle linebacker, uh, especially when you're playing defense in the National Football League, then you got a problem. And 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 that's the deal that they're juggling. He hasn't been able to show up every single game, and he's had this issue over the last three, four, five years. So when he's on the field, he plays great. But when he's not, he's sorely missed. And that's and that's big deal. I mean, it's not the fact. It's a, He's like a symbol now. Right, he's more right. of a well, he's figurehead. He's a fan favorite. Yes, he's more he's of a figurehead. He's the go-to guy. Absolutely. He's more of a figurehead. He's more of a spokesman. And is it worth one more year? We'll find out. But there's a new GM in town that may not and did not draft him. So that's got, Phil Emery's going to have a decision to make. Yeah, it's kind of a sentiment versus, uh, right. you know, uh, because... Practicality. Yeah, I mean, right. you, maybe maybe you find a way to keep him around. You know what I mean? Maybe find a way... Uh, I mean, $5 million sounds like a lot, and I like I know you said it's all bu- you know built on incentives and right. everything, but maybe you put a little bit of cash in front of him and say, hey, you're not probably not going to be the starter, but, man, we'd love to have yeah, you Yeah, I'm on, with on you guys. Sidelines. Would you rather lose him or give him $2.5 million base pay and then try to uh, uh, put in, in uh, you know, all other things that would help him get to $5 million? Hey, I think my- I'd rather have him. Yeah. Mike, would Manti Teo ever be a Chicago Bear? I don't think so. I don't no. think he's going to become a Chicago Bear, and I think it's because I think he's basically his his forty time was uh, the slowest, one of the slowest of the linebackers. I think it was twenty second out of twenty six linebackers at the combine. He ran a four eight. He had all he had the issues. Whether we want to say it shouldn't be a big deal when you're looking for a football field uh, uh, football player or not. It is. I mean, if somebody comes in for a job and you go, what's this about an imaginary girlfriend? And you explain mm-hmm. that, you're not getting hired. You're not get- wow. If you walk into any, any company, if, you're a, if you want to be a law clerk, and it says here, well, it says here you had an imaginary girlfriend <laughs> and something, you're not getting the job. <laughs> you are you not could, getting the job. You could be a politician. Well, yeah, absolutely. Right. And you'd be probably a Speaker of the House by the time it was all said and done. <laughs> hey, quickly, what about the Blackhawks? Is it oh, over? It's, I'm scared now. I'm terrified. Well, <laughs> all those injuries. Hey, but you know what? Patrick I, Sharp lives in my hood. And he's got he a lives in the hood. Me. He's not seen he does. And he's another guy that gets hurt, at, at, but it's hockey. But I'm worried about so the tiny. fact we've lost two in a row. We won, we won all these games, didn't, and then we lose two in a row. And, and, and you know, people are going, you think we're going to win the cup? That's are we going to be all right? <laughs> are we going to be okay? This is a pro- This is I the way we Black are Hawks here in this town. Down. <laughs> I mean, the Blackhawks have been playing good. They were due to hit a wall. Uh-huh. And bottom line is, I mean, I think they're going to be in the Stanley Cup. Uh, I think that they showed everybody what they could do. And they were down to Edmonton the other night bad. And they came back. I mean, they got offense. They just, you know, I think they just wore down. But now we're panic here. You know, What's going to happen? Well, can they do well without Patrick Sharp? Well, you'd rather have him on. 
the ice. I mean, you hope he's back because if you don't have Patrick Sharp, see the the thing that makes the Hawks great is they're strong one, two, three, and four lines. That's what made that streak so unbelievable. When you have Jordan and LeBron James, you're playing five on five. They never leave the court hardly. When you have the Blackhawks winning every game and, and basically going 25 <laughs> points for 25 games, you're playing with four lines. You're playing with two different goaltenders. That's why it was remarkable. I think it's a good problem to have I when, do too. when two in our, when two losses in a row means you hit the wall. Oh, we've hit think the wall. Think about that. I mean, we're, that's we're winded. We're exhausted. <laughs> we, we I'm up at night burning the midnight oil trying to figure out how to get back on track. I think it's just a little blip. All right, thanks, Michael. All right, guys, take today. care.